Hi, it's Molly from Sacred Fire Creative. And today we are diving into the back end of WordPress. And so when you log in to WordPress and you'll have a special web address, username, and password, this is what you come to. This is called your dashboard. And the first thing that I'm going to show you is that if you hover over the name of the website, so in this case, HeartSpace, you'll see Visit Site comes up. And I'm going to go ahead and click that. And this particular site for HeartSpace Horse Sanctuary and Healing Center for my client, Melanie, this is the home page. And you'll see it's very visual. It was created using Visual Composer. And so we are going to show you just a few different ways that you can edit this site. And I already went over these with Melanie, so I kind of know that she might be adding a horse, for example. So I'm just going to click on the horses, and we're going to go to that page so you can see what it looks like. So at first it has, you know, your header and why horses. And then it, then it goes into a description of each of the horses. And you'll notice in these descriptions that there's a large image on the left, the title of the horse, name of the horse, and a paragraph describing that horse and what's going on with them. So for this page, if I wanted to add a new horse, for example, I can click on Edit with Visual Composer. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And what's really great about Visual Composer is that it looks a lot like the website. So once it loads up, it's going to bring up a screen that looks almost exactly the same as your web page. Now I'll show you what's different. What's different is if I hover over an element like the image, you'll see a few things pop up. Okay. And if I hover over the text, you'll see a few different things pop up. All right. So I'll just point out a few things first. So I'm going to hover over this image and in the middle here it says single image. There's a pencil so I can edit it. There's the clone tool so I can make a copy of it. And there's delete. So if I, if I just don't want an image on that side, I'll just click delete. Now if I want to add a new horse, for example, the easiest way for me to do this would actually be to go to the row, and you'll see that up above. Click on this arrow and click the clone button. Now, it seems like it didn't work, but if I scroll down, you'll see there are two versions of Scout. All right? So we've cloned the entire row, the image, the name of the horse, and the paragraph. Now to edit it, I'm just going to go into single image, click on this pencil. And here I can just X out that horse and choose a different one. If I want to choose a horse, I can either go to the media library and choose an image or I can go to Upload Files and select a file from my computer. Once you've chosen your image, you want to click Set Image. And I'm not going to do that because I'm not going to change it. And then you want to be sure to save changes. Again, I'm just going to go ahead and get out of here. Now to change the text, you'll notice that the name of this horse up here is in a different text block. 
than the paragraph. And so I'm going to go ahead and click Edit Text Block and change the name to the new horse. I'm going to close that. Be sure to save your changes if you do have a new name. And if I want to edit this paragraph, I'm just going to click again the pencil or the edit button. And it's thinking. There we go. And just go ahead and change this text here. Again, to make those changes, be sure to click Save Changes. I'm just going to close out of this. And in order to save your changes that you made here, you're going to want to click Update here at the top. Now, say you make a whole bunch of changes that you didn't want, like I did. I'm just going to go ahead and click this X. All right, and this warning comes up. WordPress is trying to make sure that you, you either want to lose your changes or you don't, right? So yes, I don't want to make these changes, so I'm going to leave the page. If you made some changes and you didn't, if you forgot to update it, then you want to click stay on this page and then go ahead and click that update button. For now, I'm going to leave the page. Alright, and I also talked to Melanie about maybe adding some photos. So she's got a photo gallery here. I think we have 55 images of horses here. So same sort of thing, we're going to click Edit with Visual Composer. Again, it's going to look a lot like the web page because of Visual Composer. But this is within a text block just for formatting. So I'm going to click Edit Text Block. It's going to bring this up. I'm going to click on the image. It's going to give me a way to edit it. So I'm going to click Edit. And here's where I can either add to the gallery here or delete images that you don't want in the gallery and then click Update Gallery to make those changes. Also be sure to click Save Changes and Update. So now I'm going to go back to the dashboard and show you a different way to access those pages. You'll notice here on the left on the dashboard, there's a menu item here that says pages. When I hover over it, potentially, there we go, you can see all pages. And I'll just click that. And this is just another way of accessing the pages with the titles. So again, what I'll do is I'll just click Edit with Visual Composer if I want to edit that page. The other thing I want to show you is on the left here is Media. So I'm going to go to the Media Library. Now in the Media Library are all of the photos that are part of the website. Now if I want to add a series of photos, I can click Add New. And then when I click Select Files, I can add new photos from my computer. Alright, there you have it. You have some different tools to edit your images and text using Visual Composer. And this was for the Heart Space Horse Sanctuary and Healing Center. Hope you enjoyed the video, Melanie, and thanks a lot.